Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, First Tuba Nate, aka Nate the Great. And um, today, you know, we got TED Talk number three. That's what I'm calling the series TED Talks with Nate. Um, Jensen Capri song, you know, for sponsoring the video. Um, Pacific Cooler is like the best friend of Capri songs. I'm just playing. I wish they could sponsor me, but um, shit good than a bitch. Anyway, on a serious note, though, I'm talking about confidence, all right? And um, we can get to like the neat and gritty of confidence Fuck is that? later. Fuck, something just hit my, my chin just now. That was crazy. But um, that's for like another topic, another day. We talking about how your boy Nate being such a prideful individual and how having too much confidence is a, always a good thing. How that shit got me suspended for three days in high school, you know? And um, we're gonna change the names of certain individuals just so they don't try to be like, oh, Nate, you talking shit. Or, you know, they try to, you know, diss me on social media, which I'm not a big fan of at the moment. You know, I just wish people wouldn't do it. But um, just to avoid all the drama that's gonna come with it. So we're changing everybody's names in the story. So um, this takes place, you know, in high school. And um, I think this is what, junior year of high school? So I'm dating this girl, right? And we're gonna call her, hmm, what's a good name to call her? Let's call her, let's call her Jasmine. I like, I like, like Jasmine, it's pretty easy to say. So we got, we got Jasmine, right? And me and Jasmine, you know, we dating and whatever. And, um, fucking, um, she has an ex, oh, she has a boyfriend. Well, ex-boyfriend, because I stole Jasmine from him. We're going to call him, we're going to call him Sticks. We're a skinny dude. You know, let's call him Sticks, all right? And me and Sticks, you know, we got beef, by the way. And, um... I guess once he found out that I snatched his girl, that um, he just went online, you know, and got the run in his mouth and shit on Twitter, right? So, uh, you know, Jasmine, you know, she shows me the, the screenshots, so, um, everything or whatever. And I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. So I go to school, right? So all this happened on it. So we were together for like two months at the time. Yeah, two months. Yeah, two months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, all, this, all this Twitter shit happened on Saturday, right? So we get to school that Monday, right? So it's lunchtime, right? And you know, I'm, I'm the type of dude to where if I don't, have, if I have a problem with you, I have a problem with you, or like there's something about you I don't like, or I, if I can see you being a dickhead or you know, some fuck nigga shit, um, I'm gonna go out my way. I'm gonna talk to you face to face, man to man, you know, because like there's no fear in my heart to say anybody, you know, anybody can tell you that about me. You know, I'm a stand up guy. If I don't fuck with you, you do some real stupid shit, I'm telling you, hey, calm the fuck down. So, um, you might be wondering, Nate, what the fuck is a straw? That bitch. So, when I take the shit out, out the thingy, right? It hit the ground and, like, it's, it's no longer usable, alright? Just in case you was wondering. So, anyway, I walk up to him, right? So, it's him and, like, five, five of his friends, right? And, um, I'm gonna look here, bro. I'm gonna need you to apologize to my girlfriend, AKA Jasmine, like right the fuck now, bro, in front of me, in front of everybody, because what you did was some real whole nigga shit, bro. Like, I don't appreciate you fucking going on Twitter, talking this crazy shit, and not expect me to do anything about it, you feel me? So, you know, of course, you know, what lying ass niggas do. Nah, bro, I wasn't even dissing her, I wasn't even talking about her, man, I'm worried about her, this, this, and this. And I was like, you sure? So, I mean, it kind of felt like you were shooting shots towards her. But, hey, all I'm saying is, man, you need to apologize, bro. Because you're fucking you in the fucking wrong. So, then he was like, you know what? Nate, fuck you, bro. I ain't doing shit. Fuck you. I beat your ass. Oh, no, all that good high-speed shit, right? So, I was like, okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. You know what? I'm going to get mine. Don't you worry. Too easy. Too easy. So, anyway, all this happened on a Monday, right? So, me being Nate, I'm like, I'm going to fuck this nigga up. I just know it. Sticks, you done fucked up. So, I go down to my main office, right? And I was like, I talked to the people. I was like, hey, I have this project with this guy. And, because um, I, I, knew, I, knew I knew he took the bus home. 
And I was like, I'm just trying to see what bus he takes so we can um, work on this project together. They was like, yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, they, they told me bus he rides, right? And um, I was looking at the bus route, and I was like, fuck, this shit is, like, way over here. I live way over here. So, you no, know, I didn't know some Google Maps. I was like, damn, that's a two-hour walk or a $20 Uber. And I was like, yeah, yeah, we walking back home. So I know I got everything planned out in my mind. You know, now it's Tuesday. You know, I'm thinking, okay. Anyway, but it's a break my feet used to this long ass walk we got going on. So I tell him again on Wednesday, I was like, look here, bro. It is not too late to apologize and I get your ass whooped. Of course, Sticks was like, man, fuck you, I ain't doing shit. And I was like, all right, that's on you. So now it's Thursday. And I was like, bro. I'm really telling you, bro, like, I'm really telling you that you probably should, like, go apologize. You know, save me the trouble, save yourself the trouble. There's nothing embarrassing about it. Like, what is so hard about apologize because you in the wrong, you feel me? But he stuck to his guns and said, fuck you, Nate. So I was like, cool. That's cool. That's cool. Fuck me. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now it's Friday, right? Throwing my running shoes, throwing a quick little running outfit, wearing a hoodie. And I was like, whoop, I'm whooping the gas. So the bell rings, right? And I find my bus you rides. And um, before I got on the bus, the bus driver was like, who are you? And I was like, hey, I'm new to the area. I just moved. You know, I'm a charming guy. I can convince anybody of anything. I should be in a fucking James Bond movie, personally. Um, she let me on the bus, right? So everybody's like, Nate, what you doing the bus? What you doing the bus? And the nigga stopped connecting the dots like, oh shit, you here for sticks. And I was like, hell yeah. So um, this is his bus, right? And then this is my bus. So everybody on my bus can see me on their bus. And like, it was crazy. But anyway, sticks get on the bus, right? He didn't even peep the fact that I'm on the fucking bus with him, right? So I told everybody to leave an open fucking seat in the back of the bus. So he sits down, right? Now I come out of nowhere, I sit down right next to him. So then everybody's going crazy and shit. So this is like Snapchat was like just a thing, whatever. Everybody on Snapchat, you know, hyping this shit up, all this crazy shit. And I told him, they talking all that shit. But you know, this whole week, and what's up, dude? He was like, man, bro, I ain't trying to fight you, bro. I ain't mean it, bro. You know, I'm sorry. I was like, nah, nigga, it's too late for that sorry shit, you feel me? You, you had a chance, you hear me? You had a chance. But you said, fuck me for five fucking days. So, um... This is on you, bro. This is on you. So, now we're on the bus, right? You know, I'm hitting him in the face and shit. I'm punching on him and shit. See what we want to do. See what he's really about, you know? Really test his manhood. He ain't do shit, of course. So, then, you know, I get up because everybody's on Snapchat. It's like, they try to do fucking one on one interviews with me. Like, so, Nate, what's going to happen? What you doing here? And I was like, look here, bro. So, I ended up turning around, right? Put my back to him. I was like, look here, bro. I'm going to whoop this bitch nigga ass. Oh, uh, he just don't realize it. But like, I'm gonna fuck his shit up. You know, he's talking all this hot shit. He was with his bros. And now that I took the puppy away from his pack, he's just a little fucking scared little dog. And um, he's gonna get his ass whooped. So while I was doing the interviews or whatever, he was um talking to his dad and shit. Like, like, like texting his dad like this. Hey, dad, get the bus stop. Some guy try to fight me or whatever. So, um, you know, the stops are kind of wandering down or whatever. And, um, It was like three more stops before his stop comes, right? And this nigga's literally missing this stop. He's just like on the bus long enough to see me whoop this man ass. And I was like, man, these niggas are crazy as fuck. I'm trying to go home. I was trying to go home, to be honest with you, but I do what a man got to do. So um, anyway, we fucked around, and um, there's like two stops left. I'm like, look here, bro. You finna get your ass whooped. So like, pray to God, man. Like... Get ready, bro, because I'm swinging, man. Like, we ain't doing no talking. We ain't doing no pushing. Nigga, two more stops. Your ass is mine, bro. So then he's, you know, scared and shit. So I'm saying, you know, bro, I'm sorry, bro. I ain't mean it. Apologizing and shit. Being all apologetic. It's too late for that shit, man. It, we passed that point. There's no turning back. All right, got on this fucking bus. You know, I wasted fucking two hours of my life on this fucking bus. And I got to walk two hours to get back home. Can't get your ass whooped. So I can feel good. So anyway, 